Hi there, this is Sean from Delve AI, and today I just wanted to briefly demonstrate to you Delve's two main features. Delve's first main feature is our clustering search engine, which you're looking at on your screen right now. Now, our clustering search engine, we actually have several instances of this, each with its own specific purpose. Uh, the one that you're looking at on your screen right now is the clustering.med search engine, and that one is specifically for researching medical data, any sort of medical research you would use uh, this search engine. And another thing about uh, this specific search engine for uh, medical research is that it has the ability to source an unlimited number of documents. So let's look over here at the query box. You'll see I already have an example query in here, autoimmune responses to COVID-19 vaccines. So I will click analyze and the machine learning will generate a heat map for us that will separate these various topics um, by the most popular, which are uh, the warmer colors and the least popular, which are the uh, cooler colors. And this is great for uh, trying to research trends and things of that sort. But uh, the AI also uh, makes this chart right here where it has a more rectangular looking chart where everything is broken up into these rectangular topics and subtopics. Now, this is where it gets interesting because at this point, you can actually have uh, begin a second degree topic analysis. So within this, uh, within all of these topics, I can click, let's say, tumor and I'll click on analyze. And now we've gone one layer deeper and taken the tumor topic and separated that into a series of topics and subtopics. But we can keep continuing that again. Let's say click on cardiac or maybe even children and then click on analyze. And now we've gone yet another level deeper, taking the children subtopic and turning that into a series of, of smaller topics and subtopics. So this is really good for getting in the deep into the nitty gritty of whatever you're researching and finding exactly what you're looking for. This is, this is a very helpful thing that our clients love. Now, this is another instance of our clustering search engine. And this one, the site.gen is for general purpose. The other one over here was more for medical. This is general purpose. And and it has a limit of 500 results that it will find. So let's go ahead and click on cluster and I'll show you why a lot of people really like this one. And that's because of this handy little pie chart here uh, where it separates the topics with this uh, inner circle of topics and then an outer circle of subtopics. And then if you click this arrow right here, you can actually go one layer deeper to actually look at all of these subtopics in here. So this is actually very interesting. Uh, a lot of our clients really love the pie chart here. And finally, our third and final instance of our clustering search engine is one the clustering.archive, which hooks into archive.org. Now this visually looks just like uh, the uh, clustering.med one, but archive, the clustering.archive is specifically for very technical research. Uh, whether it's like AI, artificial intelligence, or physics, anything in computer science, if your research ever gets into, uh, into those sort of very technical fields, uh, then you would want to run this one. Now, you use all three of these various clustering engines to go ahead and find the most relevant articles for you. And then once you find the most relevant articles, that will take you to our, our second big feature, which is our data extractor. Now, the data extractor is actually uh, able to read all of the papers that you choose for you and will find whatever information that you want extracted from it. So, as you can see, we already have an example query here, the effects of COVID-19 vaccines in children. So it's just a follow-up to the previous question I asked, uh, just a, with a, you know, just a little more detail in it. So, uh, from this point, we can load up the articles either by uh, link or, in this case, I'll do it by file. And uh, since I've already downloaded several PDFs, so I will browse files and I will upload these three files and uh, Delve will immediately begin reading the files for this specific question and has now in within seconds extracted the data verbatim from these three articles without us having to read it. And you can go between the uh, three different articles. Now, here's the best part. And see, it has the uh, specific data that is extracted for each article. Now, here's the best part. Delve can actually extract from a data from an unlimited number of PDF articles. It doesn't matter how many. So if you're into big data research or just have a hard drive or thumb drive with a lot of PDFs that you haven't had time to read, let Delve do all that work for you. And also, I wanted to draw attention to this little slider down here where you can actually determine the number of sections that you pull from the article. Currently, I just have it set to three. 
and uh, but I could actually uh, slide all the way up to 10 and have it suck out actually more data, uh, extract more data from the article. So this alone will actually save your team thousands of hours at the end of each year, uh, just this alone. So uh, the first step, just to uh, go over this again, the first feature is just our clustering engine, which we have three different instances for tech, very technical things, general purpose, and for uh, medical research. And then we have our extractor, which will then take all of the articles and research that you use the clustering the, that you found using the clustering engine. You upload them into this data extractor, and it pulls out all of the data for you. This is going to make basically all of this is going to make your research life a whole lot easier. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much.